Here is the deepest secret nobody knows. Here is the root of the root and the bud of the bud. And the sky of the sky of a tree called life, which grows higher than the soul can hold. Once upon a time, in the fine old city of Norwich, there lived a boy and a girl who both swiped right. And the girl fell in love. Together they formed a formidable team, helping each other to grow, supporting each other in their dreams, and helping one another to achieve great things. Max, who is famously kind in the mornings, spends his time saving lives. While Renee, who looks absolutely stunning today, spends her time saving the world. They have seen each other through good times and bad, through thick and thin, and have stayed true to one another. They are happy, and isn't it just glorious to see? Max is, um, he's really, he's a really nice person in general. I think he's very sweet, um, he's very, what do you call it? I mean, he's a paramedic, so his job is really like into people. So, you know, he's very yeah, caring, yeah, empathetic. I'm honored to stand here today as the maid of honor for my best friend, Ayn. We met in high school in the Philippines, so, and even then, I knew she was destined for great things. Well, look at her. She is small, but terrible. <laughs> no, no, not terrible. Once in a lifetime, if you're truly lucky, you meet someone whose presence ignites a bonfire within you. Someone whose warm smile and sensitive nature captures your heart, and you know in an instant that you were meant to be together. It is life's greatest treasure to love and be loved in return. It's not an easy feeling to put into words, and yet love is many different things. It's the foundation of life, between families, between friends, and between all mankind. It's what we all share. It's our one universal truth. It's an awesome force. It can make us do things we never imagined possible. You see, we don't actually choose love. It chooses us. And once it has, we're powerless to do anything. It's not the kisses, or never just the kisses, it's what they mean. Somebody's got your back. Someone knows your worth self, 
and somehow doesn't want to rescue you or send for the army to rescue them. It's not two broken halves becoming one, it's a light from a distant lighthouse bringing you both safely home, because home is wherever you are both together. It's as simple as it seems. We met on Tinder, we basically matched and swiped right, chatted for about two or three days and decided to meet up in a pub here in Norwich called Frank's Bar, which is now closed unfortunately. And then basically we really kind of like each other and never stopped hanging out and yeah, and here we are. You don't have to cover up your scars. You're perfect darling just the way you are. So before you think to rip yourself apart, Open up my heart and you'll find love. I really take you, Max, to be my wedded husband. I take you to be my best friend, my partner in all things, and I want you to love. I promise to encourage you and inspire you through good times and bad. I will forever be there to laugh with you, to lift you up when you are down, and to love you unconditionally through all of our adventures in life together. I, Max, take you, Renee, to be my wedded wife. I promise to always love you, respect you, support you, and believe in you. I promise to keep making you laugh, and I'll be here for you whenever you need me. I'll do all I can to bring you a lifetime of happiness. When you trip over love, it is easy to get out. If you ask most couples what they love about each other, many will say that they don't have to pretend to be anything other than who they are. They're able to express themselves without fear of being judged or rejected. But there's room in the relationship for both to be the unique individuals they are, to be loved unconditionally. And that's certainly true for Max. But Max also loves that Renee is organised, smart, kind, caring and thoughtful. <laughs> And Renee loves that Max is compassionate, caring, empathetic, and sensible. <laughs> <laughs> they have shared interests and are each other's best friends. What makes them happy? Well, it's the little things, just spending time with each other. And as the hangriest couple you could wish to meet, eating good food, of course. And it's clear they make an absolutely awesome team. But however you define it, love is the reason we're all here this afternoon. It's not one moment, it's every moment. Big ones, like saying I love you for the first time. But mostly it's the little, it's the million little ones that come in between. Like a cup of tea in bed or a when you need one. We all know love when we see it, and we see it here today.